welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create email template here in zoho let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in zoho i need you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go creating an email template here in zoho can streamline communication with their customers allowing you to reuse standard messages while personalizing them with customer specific data there are two ways for you to be able to do that number one is go to the zoho mail once you are on the home page i want you to click on it now inside the mail section all right there's going to be an option here that says templates right here when you click on it there's going to be an option that says create a new email template all right you have two options you can create a new template here or just click this button whichever you prefer for example if you want to create this you have a subject all right i'm gonna make sure that when i are creating a new uh template from scratch i'm gonna put in as much as details as i can for example this is gonna be that I'm going to change the color, maybe to a blue one. I'm going to make it a little bit bold or bigger. Like uh, maybe not, 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 not too much. Maybe uh, 18. All right. And then I'm going to uh, put in. Please, if you haven't already, you might want to click on the subscribe button. So you get notifications whenever we upload our newest content we upload daily for you guys for you to check some our easy to follow guides tutorials and walkthroughs to solve to help you solve your problems quickly i'm gonna add in some image if i can if you don't that's okay once you've done that you see there's gonna be a more option here that says select category all right you can put in and a category that you wanted and of course you can put in the uh, subject that's going to be a simple way for you to create a template here on the zoho mail once you're happy with that all you're going to do is click on save and that's it all right and if you wanted to create another template all you're going to do is click on this button right here again all right so you can create as many templates as you can depending on the customer uh your goal and the need all right for example i'm on the drafts right here just click on this templates and that's that all right number two option is i want you to exit the zoho mail and go to the home page once you are on the home page i want you to click on the zoho crm click that now once you are inside the crm home page i want you to click the upper right corner where you can see the setup or the gear icon click that because in this tabs you have multiple options i want you to click on the customization and there's going to be an option that says templates now here you can choose the template is it going to be for email inventory or even mail merge so there are three sections but in this video we're just going to choose the email templates and you see there are like uh, predefined templates already favorites associated templates created by you shared with you or the public email templates all right you see that now we're going to click on the all templates or if you want just click on the uh, new template that you wanted you can select the module from leads contacts accounts deals tasks meetings calls products so there's a lot that you can choose from here all right because templates are really good for follow-ups reminders and thank you emails to help the uh, customers engage and strengthen relationships by ensuring your regular touch points but maybe let's just go for the uh, contacts for now and click on next you see 
there are so many options that you can choose from one column two column one two columns with one image two columns with image three columns they also have a celebration like 21 emails for that in terms of the invitation work you're quite limited all right invitation is 13 and for the follow-up it's like two and for the product promotion you have like five options for notifications it's like seven but of course it's better than doing uh, having nothing right now if you don't want to use any of the templates provided here you might want to create from scratch all right and just go along with it for example i'm going to um select the blank page for now and you would be uh forwarded to the uh, email builder right the mobile preview is here for you to use all right so you can see that the templates are very responsive even in different devices such as tablets or uh, mobile devices click that and of course you can choose the name enter the template name that's going to be that you see you have all of the uh panel on the left side where you can drag the image if you wanted click that image here i'm going to add our logo by click pressing the plus button and upload from the computer just wait for it to load once you're happy you can click on the file manager or add image url i'm happy with it okay so that i'm going to add another image too i'm going to put in another image from my computer insert that and i'm going to add another image here and click on insert so this is going to be our email template featuring our logo and our brand okay and of course you can put in your text here for example this is going to be for that make it bold underline different color now once you're happy with it all i have to do you can you can preview that before you save it all right you can have the option for the desktop preview and the mobile preview as well so you have a lot of options right because creating email templates in zoho helps you save time improve consistency and of course you can enable personalization and making your business communications more effective and professional once you're happy you can even click on the send test you can add users like that and click on send now if the email is working as you can see that the test email was sent successfully once you're happy with that all you're gonna do is click on save you can save now or you can save a draft if you wanted to edit that later all right that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one